Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. So we are going to concentrate on somebody here. And we are going to interrogate them like the police. We're going to interrogate these cards. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hello. Welcome into the Gifted Hermit. My name's Leela. I reside in London. And if you would like to, in the comment section below, let me know where you reside, okay? Virgo gang gang. I'm also a Virgo. So the first question that I want to ask Tara is, who is it that's thinking about Virgo? Who is it that's currently thinking about us Virgos? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Who is it that's currently thinking about us? Look, in that magical... Oh, the Empress card. Okay, so you may have a Libra or a Taurus that is currently thinking about you. Ooh, they're thinking, you so fine with that Empress energy there. Just done a reading... And the future energy came out with the Empress card. So they're just thinking, oh, you're so fine. There's something about you. You know, you are, I don't know, you are the one that got away. You are the one that I want to have babies with. You are the one that I see the rest of my life with. Ooh. Somebody love you. <laughs> okay, so, to, okay, so I'm going to ask, okay, so this is, that's what I got for you for who is thinking about you. What are they thinking? What what is this person thinking? What is this person thinking? Oh, you were the missed opportunity. Virgo, you cannot make this up. I swear I just said that, the one that got away. It doesn't have to be a Taurus and it doesn't have to be a Libra, okay? You were the one that got away. They are not satisfied. It's almost like they want more. Maybe they want to know what you're up to, okay? Like Virgo, you too fan. You got someone's got to be uh on you. Someone's got to be wanting you. Okay, so who's that thinking about you? What are they thinking about? Um, okay, so what are they up to right now? This person that's thinking about Virgo, what are they up to right now? Ooh, they've got confidence issues. There, there's a lot of self-doubt here. Maybe they're having um, not actual healthy thoughts. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody that has definitely had a major confidence knock. You know, that is what I get here. They're feeling weak. You guys are strong. You guys are getting through and they're weak. That's what I get here. I get that someone's pissed here. Somebody is pissed. Could be a Leo. Leo energy there. So let me ask them. What does this person plan to do with regards to this connection with Virgo? What do they plan to do? What are their intentions? What do they plan to, what do they intend to do? Wow. The chariot card. So this person is perhaps uh, determined perhaps to take action. Determined to get you. Determined to get results. You know, this is action. It's also sexual action. It's also, it's very chemistry for me. Victory. This is somebody that wants results. Take it as it resonates, you know. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh wee. So, yeah, the person that is thinking about you, possible Taurus, possible Venus, very much in love with you, very much attracted to you. They love the divine, the, the divine feminine about you. You don't, you don't have to be a woman. You can be a man as well. They feel safe around you. You've got that motherly, that home vibe, that grounded vibe. What are they thinking? They're thinking, shit, I missed the opportunity. They're thinking, why don't you reach out to them? What are they up to? They're, they're pretty much struggling. They're finding it hard to stay strong to get through this. What do they plan to do? They plan to make a, get some results. Maybe they plan to get you in bed. They plan to get some sort of results. Trust me, that chariot card is a very sexual card. So... I want to know more about this person. Tell me more about this person. The Ace of Pentacles. This person sees or has seen an opportunity with you. They want a new beginning, perhaps, with you. Maybe to start afresh. The Ace of Pentacles is a very fresh start type of energy okay maybe this is somebody that sees an opportunity with you that i can make money with you i can grow with you i can plant a seed here this is where i want to plant some seeds mm -hmm. tell me more about what it is that they're thinking with regards to this four of cups holy moly ten of swords not only was you the missed opportunity virgo it was painful for them 
they found it very painful and hard. It was a painful ending. Maybe they feel betrayed. They feel stabbed in the back. Maybe they know that they've betrayed and stabbed you in the back. Maybe they know that they hurt you. You know, literally. So tell me more about what it is they're up to with this strength card. What is it they're up to? Ten of Cups, look, I always get, as a reader for me, crying. Whenever I see the Ten of Cups, somebody's crying. Somebody's sad. You know, this person is crying over you. I've been talking about this. The Chariot, the Emperor. And look, these cards are so in tune with me. I didn't even have to ask it the, the next question. But what do they intend to do? Remember what I was talking about? Results, victory. And, and, and they're wanting that. Results, they're coming. Determination, they're going to take action. It's the same with the Emperor card. This is somebody that takes action. This is somebody that likes to be in control. So just be mindful of that, okay? This is also kind of boss energy, you know? Someone that wants to be in charge. Take it as it resonates. Only you would know if that's healthy or not. Look at the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Maybe this is a, this was or really is a, a confusing situation. Look, Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups talks about confusion. Heavy. Heavy, confused energy. Like, uh, for me, fuck that. Fuck that, man. She... Right, so what are the energies moving forward? What are the energies coming towards Virgo in love? What are the energies coming towards Virgo in love? One, two, three, four, five. Five of swords. What is the energies coming towards Virgo in love? Six of pentacles in reverse. And the magician in reverse. So be very mindful because I, I feel there's a connection here, Virgs, okay? Um, I don't know who I'm speaking to here. And again, the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups is still there on the bottom of the deck. Look, I be mindful. If there is a person that's coming back, be mindful. Only you would know, Virgo, okay? But be mindful of the energy that you give out. Make sure you're getting it back. Okay, because I do see somebody that can easily manipulate here. I can see somebody that can be a bit of a trickster, you know. So make sure that both you and this person are on the same page, you know. But, and, you know, you don't want to get your wires crossed or misinterpretation of the other person's energy. Because I feel like shit's going to be said here. There's going to be maybe some sort of trigger, to be fair. Like, maybe you're going to find something out, you know. Um, there's a desire for peace here. There's a need for you to get shit back in order. You, like, we don't need one-way flows. You don't need to be giving and not getting the same back, okay? Because there's a possible selfish person here that has, that has got their own interior motive. They've got their own agenda. Mm -hmm. So, angels not going to resonate with everybody angels what are the messages for beautiful virgos with regard to this reading virgos virgos seven of swords like you cannot make this shit up remember what i was saying here you know there's something not quite right with this energy that's coming towards you plans that need revision virgo more going on than more going on that than meets the eye poor timing can't rush anything nothing great came overnight i i hate the seven of swords energy as a reader like this is a sneaky little so and so or at least this is it's not healthy 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 that's what i get um angels anything else with regards to this reading three of cups nice a celebration of wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. It's the need to have more fun for me, Virgs, you know. <laughs> Beautiful angel message there. Remember that the number three there as well, you know. It can talk about a triangle. With the cups there, a little triangle, you know. Especially with the seven of swords. Be mindful, you know. Because, like, okay, so what I get here, not everybody wants to see you win, Virgo. Not everybody wants to see you make it to the top. Some people will be celebrating with you, but they ain't really happy for you. 
they ain't happy for you page of pentacles good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study i have just gone back to studying i'm always challenging myself that's what life's for challenge yourself Virgo. if you're feeling a bit bored do something else you know learn something new whatever it is i love this this could be a new job a promotion as well with the page of pentacles a new opportunity coming in good news about financial matters yeah baby Ooh, we. Oui. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. I love you guys. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you in any way. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, my darlings. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Mwah.